the regimental mascot of the Irish Guards. At just nine months old, he's taken part in his first official engagement to mark St. Patrick's Day. Both Seamus and his handler, drummer Adam Walsh, were presented with their shamrock at Wellington Barracks. Uh, yeah, he got on really well. Um, he, he just got a bit, a bit anxious towards the end, a bit fed up. Um, but yeah, he did really well. He did really well there. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a massive, uh, massive honour and massive privilege um, to, to have the regiment mascot because he, he is, oh, I know, I know, he is the face of the regiment, so it's, it's a massive privilege, yeah. He's a lively character, a very lively character. Um, as he lets you know when, he, when he's not getting his own way. Um, but yeah, he's really fun to have around. He's very, he is a very playful dog as he's a puppy. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he is a really nice dog. Probably the nicest dog I've ever met, personally. Every waking minute we spend together. Um, we go, we go to the shops together. We go do PT together. Um, we also go on walks together. Uh, we pr basically do most things together. Yeah. Yeah. Sh Seamus, uh, he, he he gets a uh, kind of gets a bit upset when uh, when I'm not about. Uh, if I if I close my door or whatever to do whatever jobs I need to do that day, I can hear him pawing at my door. He just wants to come in and have a play with me or chill with me. If I'm sitting there at night time playing PlayStation or watching TV, he'll get up onto the bed and watch it with me and just chill with me. So Seamus, you will have seen on parade today, he's the 17th regimental mascot we've had. They're always Irish Wolfhounds for, for obvious reasons. Um, but it's very easy to forget what, what the Irish Wolfhound did. They were, they were there to, to really corral and take down wolves, so hence his size. But he's a pretty impressive puppy, uh, however hard that is to believe. Usually the Irish Guards celebrate St Patrick's Day with a parade attended by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but due to the pandemic, that can't take place this year. It's very different. So um, normally we would receive uh, shamrock from uh, the Colonel of the Regiment, um, the Duke of Cambridge, uh, but this year because of, because of Covid it's just not been possible to get back together. Um, but even this year is a contrast from last year where the battalion was split between Iraq and South Sudan and this time last year I was stood in helmet and body armour in between rocket attacks and Taji. It's hoped Seamus will be able to carry out his ceremonial duties this summer when restrictions are lifted. Lisa Hartle, Forces News, Wellington Barracks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.